Car, it looks like Detroit Lions' Tim Boyle is going to make his first career start because uh, Jared Goff is doubtful to play Sunday. He hasn't fully ruled out to play Sunday, but he's doubtful and he has an oblique injury. But uh, like I said before, you know, you got a lot of people that's going to uh, – who's going to roll with this. Uh and they're going to get behind this, and they're not going to do what they need to do and not go to the game and criticize um, the ownership, Brad Holmes and them, for not doing the right thing at the quarterback position. You know, most most years we thought it was, you know, because of Matthew Stafford and uh, that, you know, they didn't want to have Stafford. They didn't want to have no competition behind Stafford. But it is showing that right now that uh, Jared Goff, he's doubtful right here. It's showing right now that uh that they just incompetent or they either incompetent, which I believe that to be true, or they're just being cheap about the quarterback position. Well, let's talk about it to our Detroit Lions talk playlist on the video share I don't understand why people don't put more emphasis on the backup quarterback position. You know, they went out and got Chase Daniels last year. We're talking about, you know, David Blog and how Brad Holmes don't like David Blog or Dan Campbell don't like David Blog. But, you know, uh, Bob Quinn, you know, he picked them up. And he still went out there and got Chase Daniels. So, I mean, remember Jeff Driscoll was ahead of David Blog. We being, you know, we being real about this situation. You know, Jeff Driscoll got injured. They put Blog in. You know, he was a rookie. And then the following year, they put Chase Daniels in there, and they paid Chase Daniels all this money to get, to help to continue to mess up the cap this year. And we all knew Chase Daniels wasn't that good to begin with. It's just like, you know, we thought that they were they were trying to uh, not give staff for competition. I just think, you know, the two regimes. Are incompetent. You go out there and you get Tim Boyle. I get Tim in a second. Who making his first career start? And Rogers out here said we happy for him. This, that, and the third. It's just, just to the point where you know you had Jared Goff who gave us zero chance to win the game. We had a big chance to win the game last week. You did want to go to David Blog, so you just put him injured you know, Jared Goff out there. And it just to me, man, if I'm David Blog, man, like man, what would I do not to be able to play? Maybe you're not practicing well. Maybe David Blog is happy to be on the roster. But um, like I said, this speaks it speaks volumes about David Blog, where you had a quarterback who couldn't throw when he was healthy, and damn the short can throw when he was injured. And you just you know you run the ball fifty thousand times, you don't give David Blog an opportunity to play. And we'll see what Tim Boyle bring come Saturday. But I mean Sunday versus the Browns. But you know I have zero faith. A lot of people don't like my channel because I keep it real and be honest. If I'm wrong, I could be the first person to come on here and blah blah. You know, I was wrong. You know. But, you know, he had an oblique injury, and um, hopefully you don't get well anytime soon. But either with him or Tim Boyle. But it's hope for Tim Boyle. Let's switch to Tim Boyle because Tim Boyle was trying to coach Jared Goff how to throw the ball down the field. So, you know, maybe he might be the new Sean Hill. Because one thing about Sean Hill, people used to complain early in Stafford career how he didn't force the ball down the field to Calvin Johnson. Sean Hill would come in there and just launch that bitch to Calvin Johnson. It used to be, the, it used to be like – the funniest shit because people used to praise, and you know, they say the back of quarterback is the most popular quarterback in town. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, it's me to me, it was, it was funny, man. He come in there, he launched right to Calvin. What was it like the Chicago game? They had a game in Tennessee, start throwing it, they came back. But, um, anytime you change, you change somebody in the game, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just hard for the defense to adjust, you know, even if they're similar or not similar, you don't know what the backup is thinking, you know. That's why the two uh, court running back system works so well. You gotta be, you got this you know, thunder and lightning, man. You got it's different. That's why you know Dallas early in the season had success with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, because they so different. You you know, you can sell people in, but just a different personnel package you prepare for. Zeke run with more kind of power, you know. And Tony Pollard is a you know he got some power, but he just changes the pace back. But uh. Like I said before, it says uh, big arm Tim Boyle eager to make his first career start for the Lions. Jared Goff officially doubtful, so didn't practice all week. We've seen this coming. Uh, Tim Boyle was uh, – he wasn't – they just activated him yesterday, so think about this. He wasn't even fully activated before he was taking first team reps, and he activated, and he comes off IR and jumps David Blog. Last week showed you they don't believe in David Blog. Last year showed you they didn't believe in David Blog. The year before last, they showed you they didn't believe in David Blog. So there's – Two different regimes are saying the same thing about David Blood. We look at David Blood, we see the potential. His rookie year, he almost beat the New Orleans Saints the last game of the season. He brings athleticism. He brings better arm than Jared Goff. But Tim Boyle is going to get his first action in, you know, 
we're gonna see what he get done. But you know, like I said, even with Jared Goff, uh, I just didn't have minimum faith in them winning this game. This is the type of game that they get blown out in. Going to Cleveland, it's probably gonna be cold. I mean, at least Tim Boyle used to it being cold, being up there in Green Bay. But I mean, it is what it is. I'll just tell you how much they think of the backup position. You got a guy you don't believe in, David Blow. You got a guy in Tim Boyle who hasn't made a start ever in his career. It's just to the point, like, man. You know, what did Brad Holmes do? Because if you look at the rookies that he got, Sewell is the only one that's producing, bro. That's that's producing. Like, you look at Anna Zorky, he can't even start. You look at Aline, uh, Aline McNeil, he's trying to find his way. If you look at the defensive line, you got two veterans starting, Nick Williams and, um, you know, what's the other kid, Michael Brockers. And they not creating zero pass rush. Derek Barnes really ain't can't get on the field to stay on the field. I mean, I'm talking about drafted rookies. I mean, uh, I sent him on a ride. Jared Goff refused to throw them damn ball on a consistent basis. I mean, you know, really, you know, Malafonte, I'm not sure if he came back yet. Uh, he was supposed to come back after the bye, potentially. But, uh, but yeah, just to the point where, man, you know, it ain't looking good. You know? Yeah, you know, I'm at the point where why not throw Annis where he out there? You know? I just never liked the 3-4, and that's an adjustment for him and McNeil, too, probably playing the 3-4. I'm not sure they played at NC State, but – yeah, Tim Boyle in that ball. Oh, it says most NFL players grow up dreaming to start in the NFL, but Tim Boyle is not most NFL players. After all, how many other quarterbacks? Make sure I can see this. Make the NFL after throwing just 12 touchdowns and 26 interceptions at the bottom rungs of the college. <laughs> I don't really think I quote, I don't really think I envision myself starting in NFL, Boyle said, but um, it was always a dream. Boyle said, you don't really think about it until it happens on Sunday, almost certainly will. Detroit quarterback Jared Goff missed practice all week with an oblique injury. He's listed as doubtful to play on Sunday against the Cleveland Browns. That means the Lions are poised to turn their office to ball who takes who has taken a decide, decidedly unconventional path from the University of Connecticut, where he threw one touchdown pass and 13 receptions to Eastern Kentucky third string quarterback and Green Bay backup quarterback and Detroit's probable NFL starter on Sunday. Quote, you you think about all the ups and downs, Bull said. My Pacific burnt, uh, journey. It's college. I struggle. It's confidence. It's learning. It's leaning on family. It's transferring, having an okay season, kind of picking up myself, uh, picking myself up, plugging along. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of how I handled my journey. And when it comes down to it, just like your profession, you've uh, got to re- be ready when your number's called. And I'm ready. I want to be ready. So it says Boyle won three high school state championships at Xavier High School in Middletown, Connecticut. But bombed after enrolling in that Connecticut 2013. He threw no touchdown pass and eight interceptions that year and finished with just one TD, 13 picks before moving down to the FCS level in Eastern Kentucky. This is Rodney Stuckey went to, I think, too. Stuckey Stuck, Stuck, for the final season. It didn't go much better. He threw 11 touchdown, 13 picks for the Colonials. All right. That's 12 touchdowns, 20 intercept, 26 interceptions, a line you don't see every day in the NFL. But Boyle has always had a huge arm and still got a shot with the Green Bay Packers, the undrafted rookie in 2018. And he was impressive enough in the preseason to make the roster as a third quarterback behind Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Kaiser. He developed into something uh, of a folk hero in Green Bay over the years where he rarely played, completing three or four passes in 15 yards three seasons, but was always popular when the Packers didn't pursue him. And last year, Boyle opted to sign with the Rebuild Lions golf was interested as a starter, but he had struggled with the not games, ranking among the worst quarterbacks in the league, according to pretty much every statistical and bottom uh, statistic and bottom out and tie against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Goff suffered an oblique injury in the game, finished with just 54 yards in regulation. The team lost in two on the four. Hasn't practiced since he did feel better on Friday, expected to give it a go after throwing sessions, but never even suited up. So he's officially listed as doubtful uh, to play uh, the worst designation a player can receive without being ruled out. With that, Boyle is supposed to make the start for NFL winless Lions. <laughs> the first NFL start for the winless Lions, quote, the opportunity, especially in the NFL, comes, uh, he said, quote, very few, unfortunately, Boyle said, but, quote, that's, uh, that's the beauty of the NFL. It's so competitive. It's been a long journey, kind of reminiscent of my story, starting quarterback when I was six years old. Here I am, 27, uh, old, 27 years old, and blessed to have the opportunity, so. They wrote a whole book around this boy. So, uh, so I mean, where did I leave off at? Boyle flashed a big arm during the offseason. was expected to win the backup job heading into the season, but heading to season, but landed on the injury reserve. Uh, instead of breaking, uh, instead of breaking his thumb on the throwing hand in the preseason finale, the Lions still allowed Boyle to stick with the team anyway, including for all the meetings, even traveling to away games, which is uncommon for injured players. 
the club wanted Boyle to remain involved in case he was eventually needed. And sure enough, just days after return practice, he, he is. So while golf is, uh, is a more experienced option, uh, and that counts for a lot against the defense as good as Cleveland, Boyle does have a much stronger arm and his willing, willingness to actually test defenses deeper. That could unlock pages of the playbook where uh, inaccessible with more conservative golf on the center. Quote, let me say this about Tim Boyle. He lacks real confidence. I can tell you that, said head coach Dan Campbell. Uh, said smirking. Quote, he's got plenty of confidence. And so that's a good thing. So we'll see where this, go- this game goes. If he's our guy, see where the weather takes us. Uh, see where that takes us. But I know this. We have to be smart with him and let him work into a rhythm. Boyle said he'll have a small contingent of family and friends on hand in Cleveland. For the occasion, including his parents, sibling, girlfriend, and some friends, but mostly he's trying to remain low, low key head of his debut start lineup. A good thing happens to uh, good people who work hard. Quote, who will say, quote, I've always told myself that I feel like I'm a good person. I'm trying to uh, spread kindness, love, and do my thing. He reflected on my journey. It's been uh, perseverance and self confidence. He said, quote, I meditate Saturday night, take, I, I breathe. Uh, Talk to my family. I study, go to bed. Easy as football. I've been uh, playing since I was six. It's an awesome opportunity, but at the end of the day, I can't psych myself out. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, you want to you want to talk? You don't get too much more incompetent than this. This motherfucker threw twelve touchdowns, twenty six interceptions in college. It don't get no more incompetent than that, man. This organization is dumb. I mean, you just see it right there on right there, but you know, you know, maybe, 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 maybe he might be the exception to the rule. You know, all you can do is hope. That's all you can do is hope. He just sound like they like him. He's a swell guy. I, he's really good, and you know, I like the way he he talks, and I likes the way he, you know. Is what it is, man. You incompetent, man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Stafford, man. Get out of here, you know. But uh, David Blog in his college career, threw 69 touchdowns and 43 interceptions, 128.1 quarterback rating. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. But hey, let me know what you guys think, man. Girls and guys, think thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. You find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You have business question, require response, your video quest. All my social media links in description. Appreciate the love support. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Let's go to donate. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit the bell icon, hit all notifications, go live, drop a video. Peace.